In this Kotlin coroutine tutorial, we will be dealing with suspend functions. And I'll be showing you really quickly what those are and how to use them in coroutines. So let's get started immediately by creating our sample project. And the first thing we are going to do here is actually create a suspend function. So we're going to type in private suspend function, and we're going to call this one make API request. So what is a suspend function? Well, a suspend function is simply a function that can be passed and resumed at a later time. So for example, let's just continue by typing a delay inside here, which is part of coroutines, of course. And as you can see already, thanks to this being a suspend function, we were allowed to call this delay function. And right under that, we are going to log that our API request failed because of missing internet. And then we have to create another suspend function. So we're gonna type in private suspend function check for internet. And we're going to give it a delay of 3000 milliseconds. And then we will log that there is internet. And then we'll give it another delay of 1000 seconds, uh, of 1000 milliseconds and log that it was just a joke that there's actually no internet. So we are a very mean programmer, but that's okay. Now let's move on to our function main. And in order to use a suspend function, you actually have to call it within a coroutine. And that means that we either have to call our run blocking block or start another coroutine in another way so that we can insert these suspend functions inside there. But to do this one, we are just gonna call run blocking because it will block the main thread and it won't end the program prematurely. And inside here, we are going to launch a coroutine. And the first thing we want to do is check for internet. So we call this suspend function, which will run inside here. And then once it has checked for internet, we will make the API request. And of course, at the bottom of this run blocking, we will add a log. And inside here, we are going to write, this will be printed first. And then right outside the run blocking, we are going to write another log that says the program has finished. So we'll just write finished with an exclamation mark. So what we did here is call run blocking. And inside run blocking, we decided to launch a coroutine that decided to check for the internet and make an API request. And these are both suspend functions. And right after that, we wanted to log that this gets printed first. And you may be wondering, why does this get printed first if launch was launched first? Well, this only launches the coroutine, which means this still has to be processed. And as you heard earlier, launching coroutines is non-blocking, which means this will launch the request to make these functions work. And while these functions try to work, it will continue on with the program. So this will just be interpreted as one statement, even though this has not completed yet. So this will launch and this will be delayed for a second. This will be also delayed for three seconds and this will be delayed for a second as well. But in the meantime, all of that's being delayed. It has already skipped to this log statement down here and has printed this statement. And then as soon as all of this has completed, it will finish this run blocking and it will continue out of it to the log that says the whole program has finished. So let's go ahead and click on play so as you can see, this was printed first from main and then there's internet, but of course it's kidding because it's a bad program. And then the API request will fail because of the missing internet and the program has finished. And this was all executed from the main thread. So everything went in the order it should have gone. And as I was explaining earlier, you can call other suspend functions inside other suspend functions. So instead of having to call check for internet and make API request, we can just remove check for internet and we can include it inside our make API request. So we can just type in check for internet. So now when we run the program, we'll have exactly the same result, except it will be a bit cleaner in this block over here because of course we need to check for internet before we make an API request. And usually you would have an if or a check statement that would make sure you wouldn't make an API request unless you had internet. But for this example, that's fine. Let's just go ahead and click on play again. And it was exactly the same as earlier, except we called a suspend function in another suspend function. And one more thing is you cannot call suspend functions as normal functions. That means they must be launched in a coroutine or else they will not work. So if we just try to make an API request on this function main, it will give us the error that suspend function make API request should be called only from a coroutine or another suspend function. But with that being said, that's actually all you need to know for now regarding suspend functions. And in the next video, I'll be going over coroutine scopes, what those are and what they mean in coroutines. So as always, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next Scotland tutorial.